Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Tom Carroll and in this video I'm going to explain to you what hypnosis is in a very simple way and how it works. And this video is a part of a wider course that I have on Udemy called Reinvent Yourself 30 Experiments in Personal Change. And if you'd like to explore this material and this course further, please click on the link below and I've included a good discount on the course for you there. So hypnosis itself is a really powerful tool that we can use to change our lives and change our mindsets because everything happens in here in terms of the results we get in life. So I do hope you enjoy this video. And again, welcome to click the link below if you'd like to explore further. Hi there and welcome to lecture 19, which is about hypnosis. Have you ever wondered what hypnosis is? You might have seen, for example, stage hypnosis where people are just having fun. They're not really being controlled, but it looks like they are being controlled. I have to say that I am excited to teach you a little bit about hypnosis because I am a trained hypnotherapist. I studied hypnotherapy and I practiced hypnotherapy and I continue to practice hypnotherapy. So I'm very excited to share my knowledge with you in that regard. So in this lecture, then we're going to look at hypnosis. We're going to look at what it is and how we can use it to enhance our own lives. And by the end of the lecture, then you're going to have understood just how natural and commonplace hypnosis is. And you're also going to have experienced self hypnosis in the associated assignment. So hypnosis then is a state of human consciousness involving focused attention and reduced peripheral awareness and an enhanced capacity for response to suggestion. So all hypnosis really is, is self hypnosis. In other words, nobody is doing hypnosis to you. You're doing it to yourself through the power of suggestion. Um, and I'll come to share more about that. So a lot of people are afraid of hypnosis. I've met people who, you know, they just block out when they hear the word hypnosis they because they're afraid. But don't be afraid. It's a natural process and I'm going to show you just how natural it is. So we're all in hypnosis as children up to the age of about six years old. In other words, uh, the way we're designed as humans we're designed as small children to absorb everything around us from our peers, from adults, whatever we're told we believe. We don't have this critical factor in our minds blocking things out and questioning things. So that's really up to about six years of age. We're all pretty much in hypnosis. And until about three years of age, we're all in a deep hypnosis because our brains are not fully developed. So we're essentially being programmed as children and many of our beliefs come from this time. So many of the things that we believe right now are from our time basically as young children when we were hypnotized. So even in adulthood, hypnosis is a natural state of mind. Now, you might have noticed a loved one looking dazed or staring off into space. You know, you can be sitting across from somebody and they're just in what looks like a trance. They're staring off into space because you may be talking and they're not listening to you and they're staring off. That's a hypnotic state. You might be completely enthralled with a movie or a TV show to the exclusion of everything else. You know that you often experience that when you go to the cinema, you're in there and you're transported away into the movie and you come out and you're you're blinking and you're back into the real world. But when you're in the movie, you are in a hypnotic state. You are you're transported into the movie. Another situation is where the elevator stops, the doors open and most people go to get off and you go with them. That's because you're just following them. You are you are daydreaming. You're in a trance. You're in a hypnotic trance. And another common one is when you're driving the car. So once you're familiar with driving, when you're learning, it's different because you really have to focus with the conscious mind. But once you know how to drive, you can reach the end of the journey and not remember the middle of the trip. And that's very common because your your mind is off. It's 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 not there. It's not focusing on the driving. It's somewhere else. So that's a hypnotic state and that's a natural hypnotic state. 
So hypnotherapy and hypnosis then is a natural process. So consequently, we're a lot more hypnotized than we think we are. And there's nothing strange about hypnosis at all. We're simply going to harness the trance-like state of hypnosis to affect positive changes in our own life. So we can intentionally reach this naturally occurring state of hypnosis using deep breathing and suggestion. And when we are in a state of hypnosis, we can access our subconscious mind and change our subconscious thinking. Now we want to re-educate the elephant and get the elephant to move in the direction that we want to go. For example, to lose weight and stop eating junk food. So the elephant may crave the junk food, but the conscious mind says, no, I want to lose weight. Then you have this battle between you and the elephant. You're the rider and the ele elephant wants the junk food. You're going to lose to the elephant unless you can access the subconscious, unless you can re-educate the elephant. So the elephant and the rider is a great metaphor for the mind. So uses then of hypnotherapy. So hypnosis can be used for weight loss, quit smoking, fear of public speaking, depression, fears and phobias, and so many other things. So see attached resource to see how I use hypnosis to lose weight. So I've used hypnosis myself in my own life and it absolutely is brilliant and it works incredibly, incredibly well. So of course, we can also use self-hypnosis to program our minds for success and to help us achieve our goals. So it's not just for weight loss or quit smoking, but we can also use hypnosis to achieve our goals. So you can write out your own self-hypnosis script to suit your own individual needs. However, what I would like you to experience now in the experiment is the progressive relaxation and the power of suggestion through a self-hypnosis audio by listening to a pre-recorded audio. I want you to experience how wonderfully relaxing and powerful self-hypnosis is. So to recap then, in this lecture, we have looked at hypnosis and learned that it is entirely natural and we do this anyway as we go through our lives. So hypnosis is a means to access our subconscious mind and get the elephant and the rider moving in the same direction. And that's when you can achieve great results when you get the elephant and the rider moving in the same direction. If the elephant wants to go in one direction and the rider wants to go in the other, then you're going to have problems. And an example of that would be as if the elephant wants to eat the cream bun and the rider says, no, I want to lose weight. Well, what's going to happen is the elephant is going to win. The elephant always wins. Remember, the elephant is the big, powerful animal. It's going to win. And the same way your subconscious and your unconscious minds are going to win. So that's why we need to, to talk to the subconscious we need to reprogram the elephant and, uh, and we, we use hypnotherapy to do that. So assignment 12 then is on self-hypnosis. So you can really try out what it feels like uh, to be hypnotized. And remember, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. So basically, you're hypnotizing yourself. Okay, so see you in assignment 12.